It's the Braves and the Marlins to wrap up the series. Floppy hat day at the ballpark. Marlins doing a nice job reversing losses into wins in the last few days. And they'll turn to Jesus Luzardo today as they try to get a series win against the Atlanta Braves. And for Jesus Luzardo, his fourth start of the season, coming off a loss against the Yankees Monday night in the Bronx. And it was not uh, not a great start for him. He knows that. Matched a career worst with seven earned runs. Second time he's done that against the Yankees. But also the five walks were an issue. So he'll look to improve all of that across the board today. And ready to go on a Sunday afternoon. Luzardo to Acuna. Swinging at the first pitch. And it doesn't get much easier than that. One away. Lazy pop behind shortstop. Bruhan gives way to Gordon, who makes the catch. And there are two away. Riley, fly ball center field. Jazz is there. And makes the catch. A one, two, three first for Jesus. Charlie Morton making his 25th career start against the Miami Marlins. And third of the season, 1 0 with that 3.18 ERA. Just one home run allowed in those two starts. But there's the 1 2 pitch on the way to arise. And he swings, and it's a fly ball to deep left field, giving ground to ball. Back to the warning track, makes the catch, and one down. That's fair. Two away. Matt Olson takes care of business. Well, whatever they are, Florida or Miami. A good start, a little bit of a wide throw, but Olsen grabs it, and a 1-2-3 bottom of the first. Matt Olsen, right field, and he's going to be the first base runner of the ball game as he drops that in front of Sanchez for a single. So here is Ozuna, longest current hitting streak in the game. He's hit safely in the last 12 games. Ozuna smokes this to center, and it is off the wall. He's only going to get a single out of it because he hit it so hard and it came right back to Jazz Chisholm. That feels like highway robbery. But the runners are at the corners and Marcelo Zuna's hit streak goes to 13 games. No score for now. Adam Duvall trying to change that. And his payoff pitch is hit high and pretty deep to left. Gordon drifting back. Reaching up and making the catch at the wall. Both runners tag. And both are safe, so Matt Olson crosses home plate, and Atlanta is out in front. He got that high up into the wind, which at the moment seemed to be no wind, and that might have benefited the Marlins. Luzardo able to limit the damage. One run in on the sack fly, 1 0 Atlanta. Morton got him with that signature breaking ball for the first out here in the second inning. Four up and four down for Charlie Morton. De La Cruz hitting 333 over his last six games. As Brian De La Cruz hits one high and deep out toward left center field. This one is back and this one is tied. Brian De La Cruz with a solo home run. Skip talking last night after the game about the consistency that Brian De La Cruz has had. He's hit a lot of hard hit balls. This one finds its way out of the ballpark. He has been steady. First free pass issued today by Jesus Lazardo, and that's the last man he wanted to issue one to. And he does not care if he's got a lefty or a righty on the mound. That will not preclude him from trying to steal a base. Ronald Acuna takes off. He stole it easily. In scoring position, Ronald Acuna Jr. Lazardo duped into not being quick to the plate, and for whatever reason, maybe not thinking that you were going to see Ronald Acuna Jr. take off. As the Albies trying to give the Braves the lead again. Grounder to third, backhanded. Berger. No, it kicks away from Bell. And Acuna's going to score. Atlanta's got the lead right back. Tough play for Berger. Got to it and then having to throw across his body from foul territory. Albies has a stolen base. It's the second of the game, second this inning. For Albies, it's the second of the season. So Albies is at second. The count is two and two. Braves are trying to cash in another run. Olsen singles to left. Ozzie's coming home. Gordon's throw is off target, and it is three to one. Matt Olson driving in Ozzie Albies. Well, you and I talked about the struggles here for Matt Olson against Lazardo. As far as he's concerned, he's hot against him right now. Two at bats, two base hits. And this is a really nice one to the opposite field for an RBI. Emmanuel Rivera takes over at third base. 
We just got word a moment ago Jake Berger exiting today's game with left oblique discomfort. So don't have to speculate anymore. It, it was something to do with that left side that we saw on the swing in the first inning and he was definitely favoring and most likely aggravated on the Albies played. Jesus Lazardo will pitch to Adam Duvall who collected a sack fly in the second. Mm. He hits another one well. This to center field. This thing may go. Goodbye. Adam Duvall just missed a homer in the second. He got all of it here in the fourth. And it's four to one Atlanta. Got just enough to get it out. And for the Braves, their second home run in their last now 45 innings, if you can believe that. One down for Michael Harris. That ball was scorched. See how far it rolls. It's going to split them all the way to the wall. Michael thought about three, but he pumps the brakes at second. Man, that ball was punished. And once it hit that smooth turf, it just kept on bouncing. Now the batter will be Ronald Acuna Jr. with two outs and Harris's buddy at second. Acuna singles to center. Michael Harris racing around third. The throw is way off target. 5 1, and Acuna slides into second. The Braves rolling here early on a Sunday in Miami. Bell's on his way to second with a stand up leadoff double here in the fourth. That ball has him carried to it. Wow, that ball just kept going and going and going and going. And here is Jazz. Oh, we got to get this one across here. Jazz ripping one out toward right field and off the glove of Acuna Jr. Bell will come in to score. Even though Acuna got leather on it, that's got to be an RBI double for Jazz. Marlins down five to two. Yeah, you never know with Acuna. You, you think he might catch everything. Jazz slowing down, really surprised. You know, put your head down and go hard. Probably wouldn't have had three anyway, but a good job by Josh Bell to score on that because he has to kind of pause. He's not sure if Acuna is going to make that play. Well, you've got to score to beat these Braves. Marlins are in a hole, but they're fighting. Chisholm is at second with a big, big lead. Hey, off the end of the bat, this one's sinking into center, and it falls. Jazz around third. He'll score. Brian De La Cruz with another multi-hit day, and it's 5-3. to three. Boy, you, you talk about Jazz coming out of the box. That's one thing, but what a great read he gets on this. Number one, you have to know where the center fielder's playing. Number two, you see the ball is hit off the end of the bat by De La Cruz. A lot of runners in that situation hesitate and end up just getting to third base. That is a fair ball, and it's going to get into the corner. Bruhan on his way to second base and thinking about it, but stops right there. And he comes up a little lame at the second base bag as well. Oh, that's not good. The Marlins have already lost Berger today. And right after he crossed over the bag and put the brakes on a little bit. So hopefully he's going to be able to stay in the game. That's a single for Nick Fortes, who almost turned around and looked a little bit surprised when he looked at third base and saw that Bruhan was unable to score. The Marlins have runners at first and third. They're, now, they're looking right now to see who is it that is going to be able well, to, to I get don't in think there. you can bring Tim Anderson in this game if he's been sick for the last couple of days. Oh, my goodness. Well, good news is the Marlins have something going right now. First, first and, and third. third when nobody yeah. out. Bottom five trailing by two. A rise swings. Ground ball right side. Olsen's got it. Slips it to second for one. Throw to first in time. A double play. A run scores as Bruhan hobbles crossing the plate. A rise bounces into a 3-6-3 twin killing. There's nobody on in two outs, but now it's a 5-4 ball game. But instead, after being 0-2, he walks Rivera. First walk of the day. Rivera is at second. The ground out goes five to three. And now the batter is Jesus Sanchez with a two out base knock to tie this thing. And that tying run may be coming home. Base hit center field. Here comes a throw from Harris. Air mailed and in to score is Rivera on the RBI from Jesus Sanchez. Tied up at five in the sixth. You knew sooner or later Jesus Sanchez was going to get a big base hit. Career against the Braves, he's right around 290 with eight home runs and now 18 RBI. So he loves hitting against this Atlanta team. And that is it for Charlie Morton. So all three of his starts this year, he has made it five and two thirds, but does not get out of the sixth. 
That's Dylan Lee out of the Braves bullpen at 10th round pick of the Marlins back in 2016. Facing Nick Gordon here. There's a swing and a fly ball hit deep to right field. Acuna's going back. Does it have enough? At the wall! This is gone! Nick Gordon unloads on a slider from Dylan Lee. The Marlins have their first lead of the afternoon at 7-5. And just like that, Gordon comes up huge again. Well, you got to love it. Lefty-lefty matchup. And just like that, Nick Gordon puts the Marlins on top. See, guys, teammates don't miss stuff. <laughs> There it is. There you go. Just admire it. Yeah. Make sure it's going to get over that wall. It did. A two run home run for Nick Gordon. Two out singles for Riley and Olsen. Tying man is on base. Marlins lead seven to five. Yeah, the base hit by Olsen, one of the hardest hit balls of this game. And now they're at the corners with two down for the hottest man on the team, Marcelo Zuna. This ball is hammered. Left field. Off the top of the wall. Matt Olsen has to stop at third. Ozuna's going to get a double. It's seven to six. He just missed a three run homer. He has been hotter than a branding iron, and he comes through to make it a one run ball game. The ninth inning, Tanner Scott on to pitch. Try to close it out. A win on a Sunday, a series win, but he's got to go through the one, two, three hitters for the Braves. Ronald didn't miss that one. Hits it in between Rivera and Anderson, and the tying run is aboard. He got Albies to chase. Big strikeout. One away here in the ninth inning. This one to center. Jazz is back and makes the catch right on the edge of the track. Acuna Jr. will get back to first base. And he will get on via free pass. Marcelo Zuna coming to the plate. Tying run in scoring position. The drama has built here as this game has gone on. You get everything that you want. Your hottest hitter, your best RBI guy right now. Runners go. Ozuna hits it in the air to left center. Chisel back. It's gone. The Big Bear with a big fly. The Braves down to their final strike. And Ozuna, who owns Miami, strikes again. He got himself another slider. You can see the Braves fans that are here going nuts in Miami. That is unbelievable. What more can you say about Marcelo Zuna? Duvall makes the catch, and there are two away. Right now Luis Arise is the only Marlin who stands in the Braves' way of taking this series. Bouncer, Ozzy has it. And the Braves win the series against the Marlins. Thanks to that man, Marcelo Zuna, with a game-changing three-run homer with two strikes and two outs at the top of the ninth. And Atlanta hangs on to win it 9-7. to seven.